Hi everyone, it's Kirk and Michael for this week's edition of The Rundown. Actually, sort of a special edition, right? We're, we're going to skip and jump ahead this one again. We've done yep. this twice now. <laughs> um, because at the client event that recently happened, I had promised this rundown video giving updates around the CPA and the estate planning, sort mm -hmm. of the rules of engagement, how this is going to look and a little bit more about the why we are doing what we are doing, right? right. Um, I do, by the way, think the client event was great. We had a lot of fun. It was a blast. We had a great, ton of great feedback. The, yeah. the charities were great. The speakers were great. It was a lot of fun. The causes were amazing. They were. They really were. Um, I am still bummed we uh, didn't raise what we expected. We're uh, significantly off of last year. So you still have a chance to make your donations. Please do it. Uh, if if you if you thought the causes were worthy, um, we know think they're worthy, and we are supporting it personally. And Retirement Education Foundation is making a significant donation. So, anyways, let's talk about um, all the kerfuffle. Is that the right word? Kerfuffle. Kerf kerfuffle around the CPA uh, attorney rules that mm -hmm. people are yeah. are so. We get one of two things. We've gotten a tremendous amount of really good feedback saying, this is awesome. This is what we want. As we age, we need this team. I'm seeing too many things that can go wrong. I have lots of friends that are going. So people are, there's a lot of people excited. There are some people too have expressed some frustration. I don't know that I've experienced any anger more just frustration and mm -hmm. the frustration real and we know why listen what we are doing and we're going to explain everything we're explain why i this was not on some whim we decided we're going to require all of our clients to do this to make it easy for us that is not what this is about and the frustration for people i think is no one likes to be told they have to do something mm -hmm. so I get that 100, we get that 100%. I think a lot of this is also, I have been working with the same CPA or attorney. I, I, since I had a business, I've been using them from 20 years, this person, or they're a family member, they're a friend. I've been using these people, for, or I've been doing it myself for years. I've never had a problem. It's been awesome. I don't want to change. What are you making me change for? So. We knew that, we expected that, and if we had a choice, folks, we would not be doing this. So I'm gonna start by explaining from an economic position perspective, this is a loser for us. We will lose lots of money by requiring you to use the CPA that we are buying, we're financing, we're funding, we're building technology for, I am going to lose money personally to do that. But from a business perspective, our firm, it is the only way, this is about survival. This isn't about business growth or expansion. I don't want to do this. We have no choice but to do this. This is about survival. And Michael, this goes back to, I, 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 People hear us, but maybe don't always believe us when we say, you can't have these plans anywhere else. No one else is going to provide this, this type of planning for you. It doesn't exist. And the so especially, you know, some people come to us from other firms and they recognize how different this is sure. compared to their old firm. Uh, some, I don't, I don't know if we have data on do-it-yourselfers versus other firms. That'd be an interesting question. Internally. Yeah, I don't know the data percentages. Um, some people come to us as do-it-yourselfers, and sometimes I feel like those do-it-yourselfers don't really believe that other firms don't do this. They're appreciative, but they don't really believe that. And it's, ask friends, ask family, if they have firms helping them to see their plan. You're not gonna see a spreadsheet with all the columns, all the pivots, you're gonna see a dial. Go, yeah, go find someone, anyone, that's gonna, help you to take out six, seven, eight, nine percent withdrawal rates. Yeah. Or save you and map out taxes for 30 years to save you, many of you, hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. Or maps out if one spouse predeceased the other, what this, 
The planning we're doing doesn't exist. And so some of this is my fault, right? For years now, and Michael knows this because he's met with many of the consultants. I've brought in consultants. I brought, I have. And, yeah. and what usually happens is I kick them out because the answer to our business model for all of them is one of two things. You need to make things more scalable, so less customization, more cookie cutter, never going to happen. Every one of you have an individualized plan for, built for you, and no one else has one a plan that looks like yours. It doesn't exist. It was built for you. We spent 50 to 100 hours building your plan just for you. There is no one of you that have the same portfolios allocated the same way. It is all individualized and customized. So the, the consultants tell us you have to change that and make it more scalable or B, charge a lot more money. Charge an annual fee, uh, an, a plan Im implementation fee on an mm -hmm. annual basis. And I kicked them out. I've kicked out employees that I've hired that have pushed me to do this. Yeah, you want to see Kirk get mad. Watch a consultant try to tell him how to improve the business from an, from an economic perspective. Holy smokes. <laughs> I, look, our business model is teaching you to spend more money. The more you spend, the less we make. Some of you will say, just stop taking new clients. We can't because every year we're sending out a lot of money to you and we're millions, in, millions, millions, millions and we're asking and begging you and coaching you to spend more, which is the opposite of the entire industry again. So I, we have to take new clients. We have no choice. Now, to be clear, we only have the bandwidth. We only have the time and the resources to say yes and help about 40% of the people that want our help. Mm -hmm. So. We're doing everything we can to continue to provide the, and execute the plan we've built for you without it costing you more money. And the only way that we will survive, because what's happening is our firm matures, more of you are retiring, more triggering events. We're gonna be over 280 Roth conversions this year, 100, I don't know where we're at, 120, 30 QCDs. Oh, more than that. It is, in every one, it's, we have to track, workflow, execute. You see what's happening to our staff. The business model of, as a whole is a challenging business model. So what for us, the CPA is gonna do is create some efficiencies so we can survive. Mm -hmm. This is about survival and it's gonna cost me to do it and it's okay, I, I'm, I'm fine because we cannot have another March and April with six or, or 5,000 calls like we did in 2023. And that's not, I know Kirk is a, an exaggerative person. That's not an exaggeration. It, no. They, we tracked, the, we pulled the phone logs, 5,000 calls in two months. 2,500 was, in March, 2,500 in April. And almost all of them were tax related. Uh, it, was, it was crazy. We can't do it. And, and because we can't do it, mistakes are happening, penalties are being paid. So. Here are the reasons, so, so, so those are some of the reasons. For you, what are the reasons why this needs to happen? Well, if we know, we know that if you are not using Don, our CPA, and you are doing qualified charitable distributions, a large percentage of you, we estimate about 70% of you are not getting some or all of that charitable deduction that you should be getting. Because no one is sending you any documentation telling you or your CPAs that there was a QCD. They are not required. The 1099 is gonna look like you got your RMDs just like everybody else. You have to just know and then do specific things on your tax returns to make sure you get the QCDs. Another example, those of you that are gonna have Roth conversions done or, or Roth converting, you'll notice we start Roth converting usually the first year after you retire. Well, the previous year you were working, you were withholding taxes, and if you don't send in quarterlies that next year when we're Roth converting, you're going to pay penalties. And we hear that for people that aren't working with Don. And that's because you don't withhold taxes when you're doing Roth conversions. Or paying quarterlies, which for years, you have I'm sure people have heard us begging people, if you're doing Roth conversions, you have to do quarterly payments. 
that's not going to happen anymore because it won't get missed anymore because Don will, help, Don will help with that. Or if you have a donor advice fund, you're doing it yourself, your CPA, there's a mistake being made. There are rules. You have to take as much as you can, up to 30% mm -hmm. of your AGI, but whatever you didn't use in the first year, you can carry over to the second year. Whatever you didn't use in the second year, you carry over to the third year. There's nuanced. Most CPAs don't deal with donor advice funds. I know that may be shocking to you, but they don't really understand it and implement them and how it's implemented into your plan. Here's another one, ready? They have updated their plans yeah. several times throughout since they've been with us, but the plan that they show their CPA or the plan they look at when they're doing their tax returns or trying to do quarterlies is two versions of a go. Oh, mm -hmm. That, it's the wrong plan. They don't even have the right plan. There are so many examples of why you need to use our CPA, and I know you don't like it, but that's the way it's gonna have to be, right? Did I miss anything with that, of the reasons why? I don't think so. And also, I mean, you know, we've talked with people who said, well, I do my taxes myself, and I've never made a mistake on them, I haven't needed to call you. At some point, either you're gonna make a mistake, you're gonna age, you're gonna, you're gonna slip, things happen. 100% or there's going to be a death and, uh, and the, the spouse is lost and yeah. the disclaiming gets missed or uh, there's charitable deductions that's carrying forward that they never captured or we were harvesting capital gains over a five-year period you had it just there's so many there's so mm -hmm. many variables and and here's the problem Don, uh, 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 Michael today is going to be not very different than normal I'm going to dominate the conversation for the most part today, right? I just, that's not surprising, but I wanted to make sure. So, so, and I lost my train of thought around it. it, it so, taxes tend to be for people a very intimidating, um, anxiety provoking, stressful, stressful. In the olden days, you used to sit down with your CPA, it was an event. Today, no, most CPAs don't sit down with you, you don't need to sit down. It is more transactional in nature because CPAs don't make money doing 1040s. There's not much revenue. Hell, met, heck, I should say, many CPA firms aren't even doing their own 1040s anymore. They're outsourcing it to India and other countries to process the 1040s because it's transactional and then they bring it back to the states. The CPA just reviews it and then sends in the returns, which by the way, we would never do and we're not doing. But that is not uncommon practice at a lot of firms now. So we recognize the whole tax and end of the tax year is very scary. It doesn't have to be that intimidating and we're gonna help make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what it's going to do for them now. So is, am I-, am I in, Triggering events. Do you want to, yeah, we do triggering events and then yep. the, the, the benefits of yep. what, okay. Yep. So let's talk about when you need to start using our CPA. So you don't need to start using our CPA if you are still working and all you're doing is saving and we're not doing really any tax planning for you. We're not sending you income. We're not recognizing ca capital gains. We're not doing any charitable strategies for you. Stay with whatever you're doing. Uh, we would encourage you to use our CPA, but you're not required, it's fine. Do what you want. Once there's a, the triggering event occurs, meaning I need to, you were gonna start, our firm is gonna start sending you income because you've retired. We're doing charitable plant strategies. We're doing raw, any of those events, taxable event is a triggering event. Any taxable event that is triggered, driven by our firm is a triggering event. Do you think that's clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now we're gonna give you the choice. You don't have to use our CPA, but whether you use our CPA or not, you are gonna pay the same amount of money. We are going to begin to charge you a fee, no matter what. So if you wanna continue doing it yourself or have whomever that's been doing it for 20 years do it for you, we, we're going to beg you not to. We're going to tell you that you shouldn't, but I'm not going to force you to change. But whether you change or you don't, you're going to pay the same amount of money to us every year. 
This is not a revenue source for us. I need you to hear it is what we have to do to survive. And this is going to cost me personally money to provide this service. I, I'm telling you, we're going to overstaff the, 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 um, the technology integrations that we're going to do. The conveniences it's going to create for you is, is expensive, what we're going to be doing here. Mm -hmm. So we will outline the costs and everything else here in the future really soon. But you're going to be given the choice. We strongly encourage you to do it, okay? So here are some of the conveniences. By next summer, by, or let me rephrase that, by next tax season, not this upcoming, by next tax season, when everything is fully integrated, the CPA practice and our firm will be in one office. So we are gonna eventually be moving here soon to a new building, okay? And we're all gonna be in the same office, which means any questions the CPA has or any questions the it, planners have, they are right next to each other and they go ask them. They're gonna be right in the same space. Two, we are building the software, coding the software, the planning software we're using Salesforce customized for our firm, our CPA, will have full access to all of the most recent plans, so CPAs will have access to all of our systems. They will see your most recent plans. They will see if you have any Roth conversion scheduled. They'll see if a Roth conversion actually occurred. They'll see how much happened, how much you donated, what you QCD'd. They will have access to your statements right at Fidelity. They will not need to ask you to pull statements for them. They're gonna have access to just about all of the information. So the back and forth trying to get information and get clarity about how much the donation was, how much the Roth was, was there any withholding done this year, mm -hmm. goes away. They'll have full access to that, Michael. Which for the planning team is gonna be amazing to, to no longer play telephone with the client calling the CPA with a question, CPA giving the client a question to ask us, they come ask us, we have to dig, find the answer, tell the client, and it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Very inefficient, this eliminates all of that. Or, or it's also gonna eliminate some of the triangulating. Like, mm -hmm. so we get it, it's, no one likes paying taxes. And it's not a, uncommon for someone not to always like the answers they're getting related to taxes and tax planning and tax questions. So they come to us and we give them an answer. They don't like our answer. Then they go to Don and ask Don his opinion. And Don does the best he can, but Don didn't build the plan. He doesn't know if you should be Roth converting or how much you should be Roth converting because he has no idea what, he didn't build your plan and he's not looking at your plan 10 years or 20 years from now to give you an opinion. That's what we're for. So all of that triangulation, calling back and forth, you trying to chase information for us, for Don, which mm -hmm. happens a lot, we know, 2,500 calls in March and April, you guys looking for information for your CPAs, for our CPAs, all that goes away. So it is gonna be, it's gonna be so convenient for you, especially as you age. It's gonna be convenient for your family if something happens to you. We're really excited about it. It's, it, it's about survival of the firm. It's an expensive, um, time-consuming upfront lift for us as we're getting stuff put together, but it's gonna be worth it. So here's what's gonna happen. Um, we have until the end of the year to integrate as much as we can. We will not be fully integrated. So the CPAs this tax year will not have full access to all the information. Some of it they'll have access to, some they won't. Some they will have to reach out to you still to get. It's still going to be a lot more convenient this tax season. The other thing is they won't be in the same office this tax season. They're gonna, well, they're gonna be very close. They're just gonna be the building next door to us. Mm -hmm. if, if you're familiar with our Livonia office, there's three buildings lined up. They're gonna be right down the building away, but not in the same office so that we can go back and forth and just, so we won't have 100% of the efficiencies and conveniences this tax season. We will for next tax season, still, going to reduce so many of the mistakes, the anxiety, the stress will reduce a lot for you and for us. It's going to help. Mm -hmm. We're very excited. That's, so what will happen 
If you're an existing client, you continue doing what you're doing. We'll lay out some new processes as we go along for you to get information to Don and, his, and the team, his team. For new clients, we're also in, the, within weeks here, we're gonna send you, uh, we're gonna do a, uh, we'll probably just do an email outlining who to contact, when to contact, and what information is going to be needed, and how to get that information to the CPA team. For all the new people that are starting this year, and we're expecting, I don't know, probably a couple hundred new people starting, needing to start this year with Don, maybe a few more than that. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we're going to expand this down for once we introduce the kids program, so the kids will have the option, we will not force this, to use our CPAs too, so it's in the family office. Um, it'll be great. I, they don't, they, they, they'll see how much they appreciate this. I'll add that mental note to the kids class outline. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> so we good with CPA? Yep. Okay, because the next one's a little easier. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about uh, the estate planning. Again, the ultimate goal will be to get Mark in that office with the CPA and the financial planning team, everyone in one office. That is the ultimate goal. We're not there yet. We have, I should say, Mark has hired some new people. He's invested a lot of his own money now in new technology. He's brought in a consulting firm to help create some efficiencies to improve the client experience, the customer service, um, I really asked, that was really important to us if, if we were going to fully integrate like this. Mm -hmm. And he is right now, we, we are, I should say, in the process of hiring a liaison that will work really for the integration of new clients between our firm and his firm. That will be a liaison and client-facing person to help with the transition and the questions and streamline the scheduling process and smooth, make that more technology-driven than it's been. Just create some efficiency so nothing slips through the cracks. Mm -hmm. Good? So, again, we're going to ask, we're, we require, it's, and I'm trying to be soft and not offend anybody, but we're going to require you, if you are a client, to be using Mark as your estate planning attorney. Now, we're not going to force you, if you already have estate planning documents drafted or an attorney you've already used and you're comfortable with that person, we're not going to force you to abandon that. But we are going to force you and require you to have Mark review those documents and make sure that it's consistent with our plan, that what is in our plan and you want to happen based upon as you age, when one of you gets sick, when one of you dies, when you both die, everything that's supposed to happen in that plan happens, he's gonna review to make sure that's there. And if it's not there, he's gonna let you know and he's gonna fix it. And then he's gonna send us funding instructions to make sure no accounts are being missed, and nothing is slipping through the cracks. We have to do this. Michael, why do we, we ha you have to use this. We're going through this constantly. We just had another one. We got a bad review on Google from a beneficiary of one of our clients because he refused to use our attorney and their attorney screwed everything up and we can't get the beneficiary the money the way they want it. And we can't do anything. The estate planning especially, not being wrapped up into the plan properly. I mean, it's almost whenever we're having people, um, they're becoming incapacitated, someone passing away, our team's first question or our team's first thought is, please let Mark be their attorney. Because if Mark is not their attorney, it's I a mess. I don't know, nine times out of 10, eight times out of 10, whatever. It's either the documents are outdated, they're not correct, they weren't tied into the plan properly because their attorney didn't know the plan. Fidelity won't accept it, Fidelity wants something different. If, if Mark is not the attorney, it just does not go very well. It's a mess. And so, so I'll g we'll give you an example we're dealing with like this week right now. L yeah, literally right two now. days ago. So we have a, a client who is, uh, uh, the one spouse uh, is, 
uh, dementia, bad, really has no, doesn't know what's going on, cognitively really bad, right? And so the other spouse, it's the wife in this case, she's never done anything with finances in her life. Mm -hmm. I, I think she was a stay-at-home wife. I'm not sure she ever had a real job, sincerely, not saying anything. Uh, very overwhelmed and we have been taking care of her the whole way and this happened a, a number of years ago where Mark was not the attorney we had to get POAs done from another attorney it took forever so we couldn't get access to the the cognitively impaired client uh, 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 spouses accounts we couldn't get their money we couldn't the bills weren't getting paid it was a nightmare at that point mm -hmm. now She's coming to us and met with one of our advisors three times in the last six months, came back in this past week and doesn't know who that person is. Yeah. So she is now cognitively, she's confused. She doesn't know who's what. And she's coming to us trying to redo her powers of attorney documents on her husband that were done years ago already, but she has gotten confused and forgotten and she's overwhelmed, now ready, even worse. Wonderful children, but her children are, many of them are involved in charities and kept taking mom and dad's money and giving it to charity. So it's hard to say they were stealing their money, but they were manipulating the parents to give more money than they could afford to give. And so now I have a spouse that doesn't have the ability to take care of herself I have an attorney that I can't get a hold of that doesn't understand what's going on with the kids. I don't know who her power of attorney is going to be. It's going to be probably the kids. It, what do you want us to do? Because this is going to happen to you folks. What do we do? I'm their advisor and we don't know what to do. Do we elder abuse? Do we call in elder services? We don't know what to do, and she is blowing things up everywhere. It's a disaster. If it was Mark, this is simple. We got it locked down. It's all in place. We would know who to, that could be in charge, who couldn't be in charge, because we know the families. That's one example of I, it's so many. Mm -hmm. Another common example, Michael, and I know we're lingering on, I'm just trying to give people the understanding why we're doing this is one spouse dies, the surviving spouse, you know you have a plan that when the first spouse dies is mapping out everything to protect that surviving spouse. Everything's mapped out, what's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen, what should happen. Well, one of the children comes in town, they have their own team, the attorney isn't Mark, the attorney doesn't know us very well, the whole plan's blown up, they're liquidating their insured income paying penalties. I don't, there, there's so many, we were supposed to be disclaiming, there's so many mistakes that are, gonna, that are happening. This is constant. Like, I don't know what you guys want us to do with something that is inevitable. You guys are gonna age and things are gonna happen. And if it's not, you have a, a comprehensive 50 to 100 hour plan that addresses one sick, two sick, one dies, when both die, it maps everything out. It's all mapped out. But if we don't have the attorney in control to protect you and make sure it gets implemented, I don't know what to do. We don't, do we, I, do we go to court? We don't know what to do. And that is, I mean, we spend all the time building, implementing plans, but when push comes to shove, when these things happen down the road, if it's not Mark, the, face is red. The attorney, <laughs> if it's not Mark, the attorney, we're at a bit of a loss there. And I know it's corny, but you got to help us help you. I, mm -hmm. We can't protect you and take care of you guys like we've committed to do if you're not going to use our team to let us help you. It is the reason we're doing the kids program too, to educate your kids. You guys have begged us for this, by the way, and we are months away. We're, I mean, we just worked on it again the other day. After We've Kirk so graciously threw me under the bus at the Klein event. That I did, that <laughs> I did, didn't I? Now all of a sudden, Michael's got a fire, he's going. Yeah. No, we've already secured a facility. We'll announce a date soon. Um, it's it's gonna be awesome. 
I mean, mm -hmm. the kids program, what we're going to do to educate your kids about your plan, what you guys actually have, so they don't mess it up when something happens to you. That's really a bonus. Second is to give them better financial advice that many of you than many of you had so that they avoid some of the mistakes that you made that they are making. We're going to give some advice and help there. Most importantly, we're going to help them appreciate what the financial landscape will look like when they get to retirement mm -hmm. from a tax perspective, right? And I don't want to get too far in the weeds, but like taxable income very well could impact whether your kids get Social Security or not. Like Medicare is means tested, many predict for your children, Social Security will also be means tested. And they're going to inherit your money. You're not going to, none of you are going to spend it down to zero. They're going to inherit your money, and most of your money is in retirement accounts that have never been taxed. Your kids are also spending, saving most of their money in retirement accounts. Plan, uh, accounts that have never been taxed, right? And you're going to say, what are you Correct. doing? Correct. We're in the weeds. We're <laughs> I know, but what we're, I, I want to tell them the coordination of the kids, the estate planning, the CPA, we're doing this for a reason because now we can do generational planning, save not hundreds of thousands, but millions of dollars in taxes for your kids by helping them forecast and see what the future looks like, what they're going to receive, and how to avoid these problems and mistakes. Mm -hmm. Right? It really, I mean, it's just zooming, it's taking the, the team approach and just zooming it out for intergenerational now, which amplifies the effects. Which is super exciting. And the kids class, Kirk was, was saying six hours, I'm going to come down to four hours. Because It'll be four hours. That's not going to, six hours is not going to fly. It'll be four hours, and it, it, I, it will change their kids' lives. It will. With what we're doing, Well, I mean, how often do we hear clients tell us, where were you guys 20 years ago? Yes. I made this mistake and this mistake and this mistake and that mistake. And not, you're, you've all heard us say your kids don't need to hire someone no. to manage their investments. No. But imagine if you had the foresight of, hey, I'm 35. Maybe I should be doing Roth instead of pre-tax because 30 years from now, I'm not going to have enough levers to pull to manage my taxes as well as I'd like. So the kids will have stuff like that. So and now I'm in the weeds here. Yeah, forget, forget the managing of the money. That's not what we're going to be teaching. We are going to tell them to stop, stop stock picking, picking market. Timing. Stop going to TikTok for your investment oh advice. Gosh. Stop buying life insurance, cash value life insurance on TikTok because someone told you. Stop the nonsense. We're going to give them good foundational investment uh, knowledge, we're going to teach them, but we're going to teach them how to build a roadmap to see what things will look like and how is the most effective way to get there. What do I need to get to here and how do I pay the least amount of taxes and have the greatest amount of income in retirement? How do I protect my family? We're going to teach all that. We're very excited. But for all this to work, we got to have the estate planning in place, right? Our team, the CPA in place, our team. This is the big picture. I hope you guys are seeing it. I hope this was helpful, and we'll talk to you soon.